Well, good evening to everyone. You better pull this off. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, okay. Get back to <laughs> what I was doing. She was about to pull this thing off the stand. But anyways, we're glad to be here this evening. And glad for everybody tuning in. And, uh, buddy, been a rough few days. And, and just like the old devil, ain't giving him no praise. But uh, every time we have a good service, buddy, that old rascal beats me down to the core. But we always come back and get our second wind and put that devil to flight. And we're back on top again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But we, we were kind of tired. We've been running all day today. We left here. Past few days. Yeah, past few days. We've just been run, 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 run. Doctors and everything else. And uh, bless the Lord, we left Rose Hill, Virginia. Drove plumb into Cumberland, Kentucky, which was about... 85, 90 miles from where we was at. And then come back from Cumberland to Harlan, about 25, 30 miles, and and shot over to Pineville, which was 35 miles. And then shot down to Williamsburg, which was about 50-something miles. <laughs> and then we loaded up with a few uh, boxes from the food pantry to distribute out to people, to help some people. And we drove from Williamsburg to Corbin, from Corbin back to Barville. We made about five or six stops along the way, unloading uh, boxes of groceries that they gave us, and we was, you know, giving them out to people left and right. And uh, then, what was I from Corbin to Barville to Pineville, <laughs> Middlesboro, and then back home. We've drove about 250, 300 miles a day. And got to go again tomorrow. And got to go again tomorrow. And I think I've got a lot of stock in these oil companies buying so much gas. I think I own about two or three of them. <laughs> much gas that I've spent over the over the years, but uh, it's you, buddy. Oh, Donald and... Amy and um, everybody tuning in. Sure. But uh, we're going to get started here, like always. You know, we get started with a word of prayer. And Sister Kathy. And uh, again, you know, we desire your prayers. The enemy, he just don't like us. Uh, I can't figure it out. But we'll, we'll get it. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. God bless you, Brother Dwight and Teresa, and uh, good gracious, several of them are. But anyways, we're going to open up with prayer and, you know, give a few more people time to get on. And, uh, uh, of course, we appreciate everybody. I hope we really appreciate everybody for praying for us. We, we've had, you know, some real bad chest pains. And, uh, oh, Lisa, Darlene, Brenda, <laughs> and, uh, and Sue, bless her heart, she, if I get to having any uh, chest pains, boy, she'll throw them nitroglycerin at me. It's a wonder they don't explode, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But uh, then the other night, or the other day, we had a couple of seizures. And, and I think it's just from being stressed out, running to so much, and, you know, just battle after battle and, and stuff like that. And the reason why we were over in Cumberland, I had to take my vehicle over. Hello, uh, Regina West. Uh, I had to take my vehicle over to get it worked on. The motor mount broke, and... And then it broke some other stuff underneath the hood and had to take it over that way and get a friend of ours to help us fix it. And, and Lauren, and we, uh, we finally got it fixed. It broke some water, 
water lines and gas lines and that old motor mountain buddy when that motor would poof, just come up out of there. <laughs> I thought, oh, geez. But we got it all fixed. And, and then, like I said, we've been running all day. We, we were checking it out, but we we're going to see if it was going to work right. And so, sure enough, it did. And, and oh, Alex. And bless the Lord, that thing uh, done good. So, we, like I said, we got all that uh, food from the food pantry and we distributed it out and we still got a couple of boxes left and and already got them promised so we had a good day of helping people so we done our good deed for the day bless the lord and that kept me from having to do anything for sue and <laughs> she'll get me later <laughs> and she got that honey do list and i had so much other stuff to do the honey didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Anyways, bless God, we're we're trying to get in gear here and and uh, do what? I had to push my button. Oh goodness! Now they've put a heart monitor on Sue. Uh, she's been having some irregular heartbeats, and uh, need everybody to be praying about that. And they uh, this monitor has been acting up from moment that we got it and uh, so we are we're hoping everything's gonna be all right <laughs> and of course we want everybody to remember Buster and Amos Amos I reckon they had to put him back in the hospital he's uh, having trouble with his arm again some kind of infection and and who else is good you're taking down some prayer requests okay remember Kayla she went to the doctor today and Got a whole list of stuff going on there. My goodness. So, yeah, friends, we, we're we all going through this together. We're, we're all battling the same battles. Oh, Tamara. <laughs> Tammy. I think that's what I did. <laughs> now, y'all just have to overlook me. My, my glasses can't focus too good on that cell phone. Oh, Brother Donald. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Brenda's praying for everyone. That's good. We need prayer warriors, buddy, to put that old devil in his place. And the Bible says that God inhabits the praise of his saints. So if the Lord's with us and we're giving him praise and honor, buddy, while he's there, all we got to do is lift our prayers up to him and bless God, he'll take care of it all, won't he? He always does. He, he's never let us down. Oh, there's times we feel like, oh, Lord. Oh, Sister Frances. And uh, Jessica. Bless the Lord. So there's times we think the Lord has forsaken us and forgotten us and everything else. But, you know, the Bible tells us, you know, for a moment the Lord has turned his face from us, you know, just to see how we're going to stand. But with great love and compassion, you know, he'll... he'll catch us just before we hit the ground, you know. And uh, my friend, there's several verses in the Bible, you know, that the Lord teaches us, you know, he'll allow us to go through things, to test our faith and to test us against evil things and how we're going to react. And, and the reason the Lord does this, the reason God allows us to go through these things. The Lord is showing the devil, okay, that, that's my child. Now, I remember the story about old Job, you know, and the devil there, he was just going to and fro. The Lord asked him, he said, what are you doing, Satan? He said, well, I'm just going to and fro, seeking whom I may devour. And he said, well, have you tried my servant Job? And we know the story. Bless God. He said, well, you got a hedge about him. I can't do nothing to Job. you got a hedge about him. He said, well, I'll let the hedge down. And he said, you can take everything he's got, but you can't have his soul because that belongs to me. So, you know, we know the story. Bless God. Here it goes. Uh, the Lord is uh, letting the hedge down, and then the devil starts taking everything that he's got. And, and if you remember... In the story, every time something went wrong, there was always somebody able to run and tell him what happened. 
and his children, you know, they were all at a banquet. They were all at their oldest son's house, and they were having a party like, you know, and, the, and a big storm came and killed every one of them. And, and the Bible says there was one that was left to come and tell me, Oh, thy children have died. A big strong storm hit them, and, and you know how it goes. And then, and while that one was yet speaking, here comes another one. All your cattle and oxen and everything was in the field grazing, and boom, there come a great this, and it killed all of them. And, and poor old Job, you know, at that time, he's done already torn them plumb apart. Poor old Job, he's done, lost his family, lost his oxen, lost everything he's got. And then next thing you know, he's got boils broke out on his body. He's got big old sores on his body. And, and he's sitting there and he's like, oh my God, what's going on here? <laughs> and, and even his wife, she come to him and said, won't you just curse God and die? <laughs> and uh, uh, boy, she was a little off her rocker, wasn't she? But anyway, <laughs> he's, uh, uh, Job, you know, he said, you talk like a foolish woman. And then we know how the story went, buddy. He kept lo losing everything. And, and then here comes these evil comforters, the Bible calls them. You know, here they come. Job, what have you done that the Lord would bring this up on you? What have you done, Job, that all this is falling in around you? And Job says, hey, wait a minute. Oh, Brother Randy. He said, wait a minute. We're, we've got to, <laughs> got to think this thing over. He said, I've paid my tithes. I help the sick, I help the poor, I give to people, I, I do everything that I'm supposed to do. I have not done anything wrong. And they got, oh yeah, Job, you must have done something bad or the Lord wouldn't be punishing you like this. You know how the story goes. I don't, I'm just kind of jumping through it. But then we know at the end of the trial, when Job done, right there at the end of it, now you got to think, Job he even thought, man, what is going on? And even the Lord had to rebuke Job and say, you know, get up from here. Get yourself up here and let's go. <laughs> and uh, bless the Lord. Old Job pulled himself together and we know the story, you know. The Lord blessed him back double with everything that he had. I don't know if he got back double children or not. I mean, I reckon he had uh, 10 or 12 kids maybe and Boy, his wife, she would have really been in trouble then if she had to have 24 kids. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But I'm, you know, I'm just kind of uh, <laughs> laughing it off a little bit. Oh, Barb Jean. Hello, Barb. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Carolyn. Carolyn. <laughs> but anyways, the Lord will allow us to go through things sometimes. Just so the Lord can sit back and say, okay, let's see how this turns out. Now, that's my child. I know they'll go through this. I know they'll conquer this. I know they'll, they'll get through this. And, buddy, there we go. <laughs> if the Lord didn't have confidence in you that you was going to get through this, he would have never allowed it to come upon you. Because the Bible says the Lord will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able. So the Lord, you know, I've even said this, you know, Lord, okay, Lord, <laughs> I don't know how much I can stand, but bless God, you know. <laughs> and you go through so much, you're just wondering what all you can do. But the Lord allows us to go through things, like I said, to test our faith, to test our courage, so that the Lord can throw it back in the face of the devil. Now, you got to think about this. You're struggling and struggling and going through everything the devil is throwing at you. But you're just going through everything imaginable. This turn up, that turn up, this be breaking down. And the kids are doing this and the kids are doing that. And everything in the world just seems like it's blowing up in your face. And you're kind of thinking, whoo, Jesus, <laughs> ready to pull your hair out. And then the Lord says, come on now, honey, you can make it. We've been through stuff like this before. Because the Lord is wanting to throw it in the devil's face. Because see, once you get to the end of that trial, once the devil has thrown everything at you that he can, the old devil has to stand back and just take his punishment. Because the Lord will flat come to his face 
and tell him to get, get thee from hence. Get away from me, Satan. It's time for me to renew the strength of my children. It's time for me to, to you know, just open rivers of blessings upon my children. Now, my friend, when we go through things again, there's always a blessing at the end of every trial. Now, buddy, some of them trials are pretty tough. I mean, I've been through some, bless God, uh, even one time I tried to take my life because it was more than I could handle. But yet, even in that, the Lord didn't allow it to take me out of here. The Lord sheltered me from death. And boys, that right there just means a lot, you know. And there's times, yeah, we're going to lose loved ones. But the Bible says it's appointed once unto man to die, and after death is the judgment. Everybody's got that appointed time. And once your number is punched, honey, the doctors might keep this old body here on life support, but I think sometimes the Lord's done called us home. Oh, Brother Josh and Sister Ann. But now, my friend, you, you got to think about it. If you're going through a trial, you must be doing something right because the Lord, he won't put no more on you you can stand. You must be doing something right or the devil wouldn't be fighting you so hard. And if the devil's fighting you hard, that means, buddy, you're really burning his head up. And the more we can uh, kick that old devil around, so be it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I see what? I can't even say mine's going to plumb blurry. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And, yeah, Brother Randy, we'll get right to that song, brother. We sure will. And, uh, but anyway, you know, I'm just trying to say, when you go through a trial, bless God, you just hang on with everything you got. Because at the end of every trial, there's a blessing. And the Lord just don't give you, a, okay, here's your little token. There you go, that's all you get. I'll be the Lord going to give you double portions. And what do you say? There'll be blessings pressed down, shaken out, and running over. The Lord knows exactly what you need. The Lord knows exactly how to move. And no matter what you lose during the battle, the Lord will always give it back. Now, I don't know about, you know, say a loved one passes or something. Those things are a little bit out of my comprehension. <laughs> but anyways, I better get to praying. Bless God. I'll <laughs> you got some more uh, prayer requests? Go ahead. As I said a while ago, Randy Carton's sister, Debbie, and Kayla, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Darlene Smith said pray for a healing, slowly losing her kidneys. Mm -hmm. Donald Colton fell last week and broke his back. Oh, my goodness. Alan Bradford is in the hospital with COVID. And Jamie said his cousin had a heart attack yesterday. My goodness. Brenda Adams said to remember her sister that lost the baby, said she's in bad shape. Mm-hmm. And Barbara Patterson said her back down to her knees are hurting so bad. She wants prayer. Yes. And God. Ann Johnson said she's hurting bad in her chest, neck, and back. My goodness, my goodness. Lord, help us. My friend, we, we, we know what you're going through. Hello, Sunday, Sunday, my sister. <laughs> my friend, we know whenever you... Give us your prayer request that it's sincere. And bless God, we're going to pray and we're going to pray from our heart. And I'll put this old guitar down for a minute. We'll get to singing here in just a little bit. And uh, we're going we're gonna to trust God for a miracle, all right? Let's pray. We'll, we're going to pray together. So, go ahead. Loretta said to please pray for Shine. She is in a lot of pain. All right, that's my niece, uh, Sunshine, and a lot of times we just call her Shine. <laughs> Keep on shining, kid. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But we we love you. So everybody that you know sends us these texts and friends requests and everything, we really appreciate you. We really do, and that's what keeps us coming back on time and time again. Hold up, Charlie. Except for the nasty uh, private messages that we've been receiving. 
You know, we've been getting some pretty nasty stuff somebody's been sending us. And, I mean, it's vulgar, um, pornography junk. Don't know if they're being hacked or what. Yeah, we don't know if they're just being a smart aleck or somebody's hacked their account or, or what. But we're going to pray for them, too. We'll let God take care of them. Yep, you in trouble. You let the Lord get hold of you. <laughs> But anyways, God bless each one of you. We're going to pray, and we're going to believe God for a miracle. All right? Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before you this evening, Lord, we truly thank you, God, and praise you, Lord, for everything that you do. And Lord, this evening, God, as we come before you already, Lord, so many people stand in the need of prayer. And Lord, we've, we've missed so many nights and, and we've not been able to pray for everybody. But Lord, from the last time that we were live until now and people were in need of prayer, God, we just pray, Lord, that God, you would surely make a way where there seemeth to be none. And Lord, we know that you've heard every prayer request that Sue has called off. And Lord, we know tonight that you know each and every need, God. And, Lord, every need is so much, so important tonight, God. And, Lord, we're just believing and asking in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just reach down your mighty hand, God, and make a way, Lord, where there seemeth to be none. And, God, we're asking it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Lord, my sis, Lord, uh, God, her son, uh, Sister Andre's son, Lord, I just pray that you would send a healing his way, God. Thank you for what you're already doing, Lord. God, there's so many, Lord, that have texted us and asked us for prayer, Lord. And, Lord, you know exactly what the need is. But, Lord, we know there's nothing we can do. Lord, I can't do a thing without you. And that's why I have to pray, Lord, not my will, Lord, but thy will be done. Lord, we're believing and asking in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I plead the blood. Lord, I plead the blood tonight, God, over each one of my friends and loved ones and family, Lord. God, you know exactly what they're going through. And Lord, these ones, God, they need a miracle tonight, God. They need a touch from you, Lord. Lord, just to let them know, God, that you're still there. And Lord, we're believing you tonight, God. Lord, to hear our prayer. Lord, you said if we'd ask believing, that it shall be done. Lord, you know we believe. Lord, you know I trust in you, God. You know tonight, God, that I believe and trust in my heart. <clears throat> Lord, right now, Father, there's none above you, Lord. There's none, none above you, Lord. And my heart only serves you, Lord. God, I pray and I ask it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, touch all of my friends, God, everybody that's listening in. God, we ask it to be done in the name of Jesus, Lord. And every name that's in our prayer box, Lord, we know, God, that you're able to move. Lord, and we're asking it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's remember Ray Bright. <clears throat> yes, Lord, and my my good buddy, brother Ray Bright, and his daughter Shell, and and his grandson there, Lord, I forget his name. Y'all forgive me, but Lord, you touched that family too, Lord. And I know tonight, God, that you can touch brother Ray. Lord, these people, God, several that's got cancer, Lord, we know you're a healer of cancer, God. The ones with diabetes, the ones with heart trouble, the ones with high blood pressure, Lord, God, we know you can move in these right now, Father. Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My friend, we, we truly appreciate you tonight, and, and you know, <clears throat> it's, it's tough. It's tough. But now, I'm going to say this. You would still be having these troubles whether you were serving God or not. But because you're serving God, you got that old devil there throwing it in your face. The ones that don't know the Lord, they're having all kinds of trouble like you wouldn't even believe. 
And the devil ain't worried about them. He ain't throwing nothing in their face. But he's trying to stop us. And we ain't going to let him, are we? We're not going to let that rascal win this battle. <laughs> Bless God, I, I know that that I ain't much. I ain't, I ain't no real good singer. I try my best. But I know tonight that, that God can take the faintest whisper and move a mountain. Thank you, Lord. I tell you what, let's do. Now, I normally don't start off with this song. <clears throat> but thank you, Lord. And what is that name? Uh, Hibbert? Naquita. Naquita Hibbert. Okay. Hubbard. Is that Hubbard? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I can't see nothing. My eyes are so blurry. That, that little small writing. We're going to have to get that enlarged so I can see each name. <laughs> But anyways, we love y'all. We really appreciate you. And, and we're going to do this tonight for everybody, especially my buddy Randy and Brother Ray Bright and everybody that loves this song. I mean, everywhere we go, we get so much requests for this song. And everybody that loves it, then you'll be singing it to everybody. Yeah, so I'm going to have to sing it to everybody. <laughs> so we, we really love you and appreciate you. So anyways... That's it. We got everything covered. All right, let's let's get her going. <laughs>
Let's do that one. He's the shepherd of the sheep. And I wrote this. I think this was really the very first song that I ever wrote. I might have wrote some before then, but they, they, didn't, they didn't go over too good. <laughs> they wasn't all that. <laughs> well, you dreamed last night that you was writing another one. Uh, yeah, I had this dream last night, boys. I was writing this song, and buddy, it was sounding good. <laughs> There's so much for that. I forgot it <laughs> today. I can't remember hardly nothing. But I guess if it's the Lord, it'll all come back to me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah, we got CDs. And Sister Ann, we'll, we'll get you some more of them there. And if anybody like that, we've got like six different kind or nine different kind. We've got several. Several, you know, just... Uh, me and Stephanie and Tiffany and, and just a few with just me, just three or four maybe with just me on. But now what I'm going to try to do, uh, being Stephanie and Tiffany's not singing much with me anymore. Well, they ain't singing at all with me anymore. <laughs> uh, on our CDs, you know, me and the girls, we switched out. We'd sing, I'd sing one, they'd sing one, I'd sing. And so what I'm going to do, when I get all this completed, I'll let you know. But I'm taking... All of the CDs that me and Stephanie and Tiffany done together, and all the songs that I'm singing on those CDs, I'm going to put on one CD, and that way, you know, it, it'll just be a, like a, a personal thing. Anyways, but when we get around to that, we'll definitely let you know. But uh, like I said, I've wrote several songs, but this one I'm about to sing for you. Um, it's one of those songs I was inspired by somebody giving up on the Lord and me trying to convince them to, to hang on, you know. So we'll see how this works out. <laughs> Searching for an easier way But no peace could I find For Jesus was always on my mind He's the shepherd of the sheep And I want to kiss his feet And thank him for his love prodigal son I had wandered far from home seeking fortune and fame but I know I was the only one to blame he's the shepherd of the sheep and I want to kiss his feet and thank him and watching over me Never more to roam Lord help me Yes I'm safe in his loving care and I know he'll always be there He's the shepherd of the sheep And I want to kiss his feet And thank him for his love And watch him over me And thank him for his love And watch him over me <laughs> Thank you Lord I about messed that one up didn't I? <laughs> you need to sing it more then Yeah Now when I wrote that song um, A young man that uh, Got saved in a revival That I was in um, A short time later A couple of months or something you know and Boy he started getting fit right off the bat and 
he was ready to quit and give it up. And I talked to him and talked to him. I said, buddy, I've been there myself. There's been times that I, I, I just couldn't stand it. I just, you know, went through this, went through that. And uh, so he said, I quit. I can't, I can't take no more, Murph. He said, buddy, don't be mad at me, but I just, I can't take it. I quit. And boy, that just shook my world, you know. So it went on for a few days. Well, I, well, actually, after I talked to him, I went and wrote that song. And then a few days later, it could have been a month maybe, we were in church, and when he was there, I told him, I said, buddy, I wrote this song for you. And sure enough, when I sung the song, he, he hit that altar and come back to the Lord. I don't know if he's still serving the Lord or not, but, you know, you lose contact over the years. But uh, that's how that song come about. And then the other song that I wrote about uh, sin will take you farther than you want to go, you know, uh, again, I was talking to a good sister, and she had give up on the Lord. And, and I was telling her, I said, listen, sis, you know, you can go so far, but then you can have to come to your senses and realize, you know, hey, I got to get back to the father's house. Just like the prodigal son said, you know, hey, I believe I'll go back home. <laughs> and that's where I, I, I told her, I said, it just takes one step to go back to the father's house. And bless the Lord, she, uh, she hit that altar too after I, I wrote the song and sung it to her and and then uh, helped her come back to the Lord. And hello, Joseph and Ann and Loretta and Becky Prophet. And Becky Prophet. Yeah, we love y'all. And we thank God for y'all. We've, we've, we've had somebody come in on Messenger, I think, there on, on my phone. But anyways, my friend, we truly appreciate every one of you. We really, really, really do. I, I wrote another song. And... Thank you. She gonna you gonna talk to her? Okay, you go ahead. And I'll sing this song because it is something that we need to do. We just need to thank God for everything He does for us. As the world looks upon me as I struggle alone, they say I Up above me, I have. 
perfect place to sleep. There's food on my table and there's shoes on my feet. Where you get There's a roof up above me, I have a good place to sleep. There's food on my table, and there's shoes on my feet, where you can Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's good to us, isn't he? Family and friends will let you down when troubles come. There's no one around, but I know a man who stand beside you through thick and thin. His name is Jesus, the King of all kings, our Lord and Savior, who died for our sins. was lost in sinking sand. I had no one to take my hand. But when I called upon his name, he reached below the bottom for me that day. Cause I've been hurt more than I can stand. Just as much as any man. But when I saw his crown of thorns, I couldn't complain anymore. His name is Jesus, the King of all kings, our Lord and Savior, who died for our sins. Thank you, Lord. Suffer pain and agony just so that we could be set free. And when they nailed him to that tree, you know he done it all for you and me. Yes, I'm gonna serve him till I die. Gonna keep him close by my side. And when I leave, world behind. I'll see my Savior on the other side. His name is Jesus, the King of all kings, our Lord and Savior, who died for our sins. He's good to us, ain't he? Praise the Lord. Let's do that John the Baptist. we just get that old devil real mad. I guess I better wait on him. Music. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad 
from Jungle Badges Till I don't know what to do Well, I can't prove by the Holy Bible That old John was so too holy to me I'm so glad I start that over <laughs> Thank you, or my, my tongue got twisted up around my eyeballs or something. <laughs> yeah, bless God, that's embarrassing. But y'all pray for me. We'll get it right here this time. <laughs> this song was really going to help somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm so glad up John the Baptist till I don't know what to do. Well, I can't prove by the Holy Bible that old John was holy too. His meat was locust and my honey gathered from the rocks and thorns. He got that Holy Ghost and shouted just before he was ever born. Well, I'm so glad of John the Baptist Till I don't know what to do Well, I can't prove by the Holy Bible That old John was holy too Thank you, Lord this one one more time and I, I don't know I just kind of got that you know that little kick going <laughs> like, like take that you old devil because <laughs> no doubt the devil has fought you and I and well everybody's listening in and probably a whole lot more the old devil has fought coming and going and brother Josh <laughs> buddy you just hang in there 
Because you must be doing something good about that old devil. He's fighting you. But, and Francis down in Alabama, or no, Trenton. I almost got them down in Alabama. I almost moved y'all to Alabama. But they're in Trenton, Georgia. And uh, Sister Joanne, and we love y'all. You've been so good to us. We have known Joanne and Sister Francis Gracious probably 25 years or something like that. And just when Stephanie and Tiffany were real little, we went to their church and had revivals and everything, you know. And whew, praise the Lord. I've got something moving in my boots. It ain't no snake in my boot. <laughs> God bless your heart. And Brother Randy, we love y'all, buddy. Now, I know we've got some requests for me to sing that song again, Lord, I need you. And, and I will. I'll sing it again. We sung it at the very beginning, and probably some of you didn't get, get it. So we'll sing it again here in a minute. But, you know, when you've been fought by the devil, and, and boy, you just feel like, bless God, I can't take no more. And then you really start to feel the Spirit of the Lord. You know, okay, God's got this. God's taking care of this. Everything's going to be all right, you know? So while we got the devil on the run, <laughs> let's, let's give him one more kick, all right? Let's do this song over again. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I like it. Like that one sister said, it may almost make you want to shout. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad of John the Baptist Till I don't know what to do But I can't prove by the Holy Bible That old John was holy too His meat was locust And my honey gathered from the rocks and thorns He got that hole and shouted just before he was ever born. Well, I'm so glad of John the Baptist till I know what to do. Well, I can't prove by the Holy Bible that old John was holy to the Lord.
we was by there today, and bless his heart, he was telling me, you know, some things that he was going through, and I tell you what, I, I really love my brother, and he's a, he's a, he's one of them good as gold brothers. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I don't usually sing this one too quick either. Cloud by day and far by night, Lord, He led them on their way, praying and singing and praising His name as they trod that very day. Oh, with manna He did feed them every single day. Said, don't store up for tomorrow. Go be yourself today. He's gonna bring me out of the desert where it's so dusty and dry. He's gonna bring me out of the desert and I believe me here to die. He's gonna take me when the water is rolling, so cool and so free. He's gonna bring me out of the desert and set my feet where they ought to be. Thank you, Lord. For so long. I have stood here with sand up to my knee, praying and trusting, Lord, I beg you, oh, please bring me relief. Once you show me a sign from heaven that you've not forgotten me, bring me out of the sandy desert and to the Garden of Eden I see. He's gonna bring me out of the desert where it's so dusty and dry. He's gonna bring me out of the desert and I believe me here to die. He's gonna take me where the water is flowing, so full and so free. He's gonna bring me out of the desert and set the people they ought to be. Now some see cold up down here, some look for pain. Sound. You're gonna get up out of the 
Well, you can take me down to the graveyard, lay my body down. When old Gable blows that trumpet, honey, I'm gonna come up out of that crown. Well, meet me, Jesus, and be Oh, meet me in the middle of the air. And that thing swings so well, me, Lord, don't need no other part. Because I ain't no grave. Woo! You gonna hold my body down. Another exciting story. <laughs> I, I wore myself out on that one. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I, I, huh? Loretta wants you to sing Going Around Home now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bless the Lord. I, I've not been able to sing three songs in a row in a long time, have I? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been all I could do just to get through Ain't No Grave one time. <laughs> Sometimes you couldn't sing all of it. Yeah, couldn't sing all of it. And bless God here tonight to go through three songs without stopping. Thank Oof. you, Lord. If that don't make the devil mad, nothing will. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. In this race that I've started, no turning back. Gotta keep my eyes on that narrow path. At times when I falter, the Lord strengthens me. Don't run on home now, heaven's waiting for me. Don't run on home now, hear him calling me. I see the light of that city. And when I get there, oh, I'll never have a care. Great cloud of angels, they're cheering me on. They know I'm tired and I can't make it alone. But at the end of this journey, oh, I'll be set free. I'm almost home now. Heaven's waiting for me. Cheering me on, they know I'm tired and can't make it alone. But at the end of this journey, oh, I'll be set free. Now I'm almost home now. Heaven's waiting for me. Come on home, home now. Hear him calling me. I see the light of that city, and when I are hurting and you're going through so much. Woo. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> but, you know, a sad song would would just make you sadder. <laughs> but just like the Lord laid on my heart, but he sang a song to give them some victory. Sang them a song that they'll stand up and say, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> Bless God, that's what we need to do. Get thee behind me, Satan. Cause I'm going through. <laughs> I'll listen to this. 
The preacher talked about the victory when God's children crossed the Red Sea. How they walked across on dry land, Pharaoh's army drowned in the deep. By the time he finished preaching, it was plain to see that God delivered for those before and he'll do it again for me. Well, I'm going through, I'm going through. No matter what the devil throws at me, I know what to do. I call upon the name of the Lord. I pull out my shield and sword. Satan, you can't stop me now. I'm going through. If you're going through a fiery trial and you don't know how to pray, just turn your eyes toward heaven and that's the Lord today. He'll fill you with his power. Trust him and believe. And he'll put a song down in your heart that you can sing with me. Pull out my shield and sword. Satan, you can't stop me now. And I'm going through. Well, Satan, you can't stop me now. I'm going through. Yes, I am. <laughs> Woo! Bless the Lord. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, <laughs> when we got home a while ago, I, I had to just collapse on the couch. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, Oh, God, I can't do it. I can't go live tonight. I'm too tired. I guess he just showed me. I'll give you some strength, Murphy. <laughs> I'll get you in high gear, boy, get you going. And after a while, I walked down the hallway there and just claps. <laughs> Woo! No, I won't. I ain't going to let the devil have no victory over that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, devil. <laughs> He just blew the little bit of the old devil. <laughs> Boy, I bet he likes me, don't he? <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. God, we really appreciate you tonight. I'm going to slow it back down just a little bit. Get you up here and uh, throw the brakes on. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Lord. Well, we'll, we'll do one more kind of fast one. We'll just show that devil. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? There's a long black train bound for nowhere. But the train I'm on is bound for home. Now that long black train is the devil And still in men's soul every day He offers great fame and fortune But one day it'll all fade away Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? I'm on this bound for home. Now this train, I'm on this bound for glory. Some call it that sweet view of land. But there's peace and love everlasting. And Jesus will be the light of that land. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be 
Too quick. I'm trying to sing a slow song real fast. <laughs> I'm still in high gear just to get it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. Never know, but then things change. You're down in the valley. Oh, don't lose faith. God of the day, he's still 
situation we're in, the Lord is with us. In the valley, on the mountain, in the daytime, in the nighttime, he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never, never forsake you. I'll go all the way with you, even until the end of the world. Now, my friend, with a promise like that, we can't fail. Now, I'll do this beautiful land for, for Brother Randy and some others that I know they like to hear. And uh, bless the Lord. Mm -mm -mm. God is good, ain't he? I'm going to set this down for a minute. <laughs> Go ahead.
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to get up that high. <laughs> but anyways, thank God for all that he does tonight. And What's that name there, Mason? Bonita. Bonita Mason. We thank y'all for tuning in. And I told everybody we'd do that. Uh, Lord, I need you one more time. And I'll try to sing that Bring Me Out of the Desert one more time too. Because if somebody's, you know, liking it and it's helping them, I'll, I'll do my best to sing it again. And Thank you, Lord. Let me get a drink of water. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I want everybody to remember my cousin Brenda up in the <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Help my throat, Lord. <laughs> but my cousin Brenda lives up close to Winchester. And, uh, you know, I don't want to elaborate on, you know, things that she's going through because I know it's a private matter and stuff. But bless her heart, uh, one incident happened, I will share this, uh, that, you know, she just blacked out, fell down, and I think broke a couple of her teeth out. And, uh, you know, and my heart goes out to her because she's my cousin, but she's my sister in the Lord. And over the years, she has been... A big inspiration to me and my cousin Michael. Now Brenda and Michael, you know, but they were real close. And and now Michael's my other cousin. <laughs> That's cousin to me and Brenda. <laughs> but anyway, we're all cousins. <laughs> and uh, uh, dear Michael, bless his heart, buddy, a, a wonderful preacher, buddy. He knew the word of God just like you would not believe, buddy. I mean, he could preach it. And, and explain it so clear that you could just, wow, you know, I never thought about it like that before. But he, uh, he preached several years, and he again was an inspiration to me. And, and uh, bless his heart, he got cancer, and then he went on to be with the Lord. And, you know, you, you miss those prayer warriors. You miss those soldiers of the army of the Lord. And, you know, Brenda and Michael were such a big inspiration to me. And, you know, maybe I didn't tell them enough or maybe I didn't, you know, show it enough. But, bless the Lord, they were, they, were, they were very inspirational to me. And, like I said, now my cousin Brenda, she's really fighting a battle. And I'd like to have everybody just really remember her in prayer. And I'll just kind of go down the list here. Some that I know, boy, that's just really, really in the in the middle of it, glory to God. And it's my cousin Brenda and my brother-in-law Amos and his brother Buster and and brother Randy Parton, his sister Debbie. Debbie, and now the I don't know what was the name of the one that took that vaccine and died from it. That was his sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, okay. But anyways, um, bless her heart, she was, you know, doing like everybody else, giving me the vaccine and we're going to fight this thing. Well, bless her heart, she she died after she took the the vaccine. Left three little kids. Left three little kids. And, you know, your heart just goes out to people like that. And, uh, oh, Sister Wilma, and, you know, other ones, you know, like I was saying, that has really gone through a lot. But you just want to just break down and, and just cry your eyes out. And Brother Ray Bright, you know, a very good friend of mine. But if, if he was in California and needed a ride home, I believe I, if I could get the gas money to get there, <laughs> I'd go get him. <laughs> Bless the Lord. But, you know, that's just figuratively speaking, glory to God. But... These ones like this, you know, and, and these ones with cancer, the, the, the heart condition and the diabetes and, and so much. And like my brother-in-law, Amos, he he's had surgery on his arm. Like I said, they've already cut off uh, some of his feet, one, one, one of his foot, feet, foot, however you say that, <laughs> Lord help me. And, you know, he's been in and out of the hospital and he's got real 
bad diabetic. He's real bad diabetic. And, and you know, buddy, you, you just look around and you think, what has happened? You know, and, and I, I hear of so many of my friends that you, you last you remember everything was okay and then you get another word and they done gone on to be with the Lord. And, and man, you, your heart just breaks and oh, oh, why couldn't I have been there? But, my goodness, and there's, like I said, so many, and, and, and Audrey, and Angela, and Patty, and, and Sister Faye, and Paul and them up there in Covington, um, good friends, Lord, know them forever, and, you know, when they go through stuff, when, when you know people, and you're very close to them, and they go through something, but you, your heart just breaks, you're just like, oh my goodness, so, you know, we want to remember all those in prayer. And of course, Sister Darlene Smith and Becca Prophet, and um, there's some more on our brother Earl Henson and and just Donald. And who was that that fell and broke his hips? And Don Colton. Don Colton, okay. He had fell, broke his hips and stuff. And, and you know these people are just going through so much. Broke his back, but yeah. And... And, and you want to do so much. I mean, you just want to go the extra mile to try to help them. And my goodness, and, and I know every prayer request that's come in here is very important. But then there are some, buddy, that is just, wow. Their, their burden is much more than mine. Their burden is more, more heavier than my burden. And, and, you know, I know I've been off a few days and had some problems there, though, the old devil just throw it a stumbling block, but praise God, I stumbled and got right back up. <laughs> he can't keep me down, that rascal, bless God. Well, you know, the Bible tells us, I'm trying to think what book it's in. Uh, I think, it, I mean, book of Isaiah, I think it is, and he said, they that look upon him shall narrowly consider him and say it. Is this, is this what tormented the nations and caused the the people to fall? This, this is it. This is the devil. That little tiny little spot. <laughs> I mean, that's just what the Bible says. They that narrowly look upon him, they that you have to really center in on on seeing him. He's he's a devil. And the Bible tells us in the book of Revelations, he said, Woe be unto them, woe be unto the inhabitants of the earth, for Satan is cast down. My friend, the Lord is just trying to tell us right now, you need to just hang on. Grab hold of the horns of the altar and just hang on, because that devil's going to fight everybody he can. But as long as you hold on to my nail-scarred hands... I'll go before you. I'll be your shield. I'll be your buckler. I'll be your strong tower. I'll be with you in the midnight. I'll be with you, bless God, when everybody else has turned their back on you. Bless God, I'll be with you when mom and dad don't want nothing to do with you. I'll be with you when they kick you out. I'll be with you. The Lord said, I'll be there with you all the way, even to the end of the earth, to the end of the world, to the end of it all. I'll never leave you. Now, Mom and dad can't make that promise. Nobody can. We, we can all just go, that's it. That's as far as I can get. I, I can only help you the there. But then it's up to the master. It's up to the master of the sea. It's up to him to take us on the cross, that burden that we're fighting. Glory to God. Woo. Thank God for his love and mercy. Now, my friend, we, we, like I said, we've done, spoke a lot of prayer requests and everything. And, and I tell you what, I'm going to sing one more song. Maybe two if, if it just depends on how the Lord moves, okay? But now I usually sing this with the music, but this time I'm not. Because the Lord wants me to just slow it down so everybody can hear the words.
singing it slow and then then kick in the music so i'm gonna try this again y'all forgive me and well whenever i get through with that first first uh, course then hit it and we'll go from there <laughs> but we'll try this again because I, I want y'all to, to see we don't know where we're coming or going anymore i don't i mean bless god we've got so much of going on we're just running 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 and uh, Lord, I don't know if I'm coming or going. I don't know where I've been. And the angry billows. Now, billows means the waves. The waves in the ocean. But they're so high that they'll, they'll turn your ship over. Angry billows just flow over me. And I can't swim and I can't see. Lord, I need you. And Lord, I, I, I had friends I thought I could count on. But the Lord, they, they ain't nobody there at all. And the Lord said, that's, that's why I'm here. And like that other part of the verse, Lord, I thought I could stand on my own. I thought I was tough. I thought I could do anything. But Lord, I failed you. I'm not strong. Think about it, friend. I'll nod my head when I want you to kick it in, okay? <laughs> you know, it takes us a minute. Yeah. But anyways... I'm going to try it again. God bless y'all. Just thank you for putting up with me. <laughs>
songs together there and that was one of them bring me out of the desert and nothing can hold me here I'm heading home and ain't no grave <laughs> so if you find ain't no grave just back it up a little bit there it is <laughs> but uh, we're going to pray over all the requests and have we had any more to come in alright well that's a good thing really I mean 
we want to pray for everybody, but it's good to know, okay, you know, we, we got them. We got this. I still remember the ones in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely remember everybody out there in Texas. Bless their heart. No heat. No electricity. I mean, good Lord. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And the homeless. Yeah, and the homeless. And, and out there in Seattle, Washington, I think is where it was, they were showing this clip on TV I watched uh, some sometime today. And... Um, uh, these homeless people, you know, sleeping around the streets. They they got no job, got no place to live. They got little pup tents living right there on the street, at, right downtown. Since this pandemic came. Yeah, since this pandemic started. And, and they're having to shut down most of the stores in the town because of, you know, people um, robbing and, and fighting. And, I mean, buddy, this is the signs of the time. Bless God, this is just uh, the signs of showing, hey, God's on his way. You better get everything in order. Like the Bible says, get your house in order, you're going to leave here. <laughs> and, that's right. And it don't mean necessarily going through clean the house. It means this house. Get all of your fires in order. Get all of your I'm sorry's in order. And bless God, uh, don't have nothing between you and eternity. I mean, the Bible says, if we have an ought against our brother, we'll be tried as a murderer. And what did the Bible say about a murderer? And what did he say? Thou shalt not kill. So if you kill, you're a murderer, <laughs> you know. And bless God to be tried as a murderer just because you held his grudge to somebody. Well, I ain't going to never forgive you. The Bible says, if we don't forgive those, who sinned against us, neither will the Lord forgive us our sins. I think on that a minute. That's what he's talking about. We've got to love one another. How can we walk on the streets of gold and, and all of a sudden, well, there comes old so-and-so. I'm going to get on this other side of this street. Uh, I'm sorry. That kind of garbage ain't going to be there. No, 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 no. I tell you what, it's going to be full of little children because out of the mouth of babes come perfect praise. And all these little babies that's being aborted, God said, I'll have my number if I have to take the babes. So you might think, hmm, for a minute, maybe the Lord did allow all these abortions just so he could get his number. You know what I'm saying? Because the way people are living in this world today, they ain't much chance they're going to make it. God bless you, Brother Robert, Sister Diane, all of you. God bless you. Um, you know, buddy, we have got to love one another. We've got to forgive one another. And I know it's hard to forgive somebody that's done you dirty. It's hard to forgive somebody that stole your chicken and told you they didn't. In just a figure of speech. It's hard to forgive somebody when you go into the house of God trying your best to, to serve the Lord and somebody hurts you. It wasn't a sinner that come against me. I could have stood that, the Bible says. Twelfth chapter of Psalms. <laughs> It wasn't him that exalted himself above me that hurt me. I could have withstood that. But it was one of my own equal. We went into the house of God together. We took sweet counsel together. You hear what I'm saying? Now that, that's what the Bible says. Read it in the book of Psalms. Chapter 12 there he said, and verse 55 or was it Psalms 55 and 12? Read them both. I will read them both. 12 and 55 or 55 and 12. God help me. I, sometimes I get them mixed up. Now That's what happens when you get old and you forget. But anyways, that's what it said. It wasn't him that thought him, you know, exalted himself above me. It wasn't a sinner that come against me. It was the one that we went into the house of God together. He offended me. And I will not forgive.
boy, that's when you get in trouble. Because if you can't forgive your brother whom you have seen, if you can't love your brother whom you have seen, how can you say you love the Father whom you have not seen? Now, my friend, this is, uh, this is very, very, very important because we're getting so close to the coming of the Son of Man. I would hate to miss heaven because of something somebody else done. And I've heard people use excuses. Well, I ain't going to go to church with them, old hypocrites. The Bible says, let the wheat and the tares grow together. And on that day, he will do the separating. See, he's a good gardener. He knows the wheat and the tares. In other words, he knows the wheat and the weeds. You know how those weeds get in your garden, buddy, and just choke out all your, <laughs> your fruit and vegetables and everything. Bless God, you just want to get rid of the weeds. But the Lord said, in harvest, the day of harvest, on that day, I'll do the separating. I'll put the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. I'll put my children on one side and the devil's children on the other side. And, and I'll do the separating. And the ones that has my name, the ones that has the seal of God in their forehead, I'll pick them up and take them to that new Jerusalem. I'll take them to that place I've gone to prepare for them. I will take them to the land that's flowing with milk and honey. So I ain't going to let somebody, you know, keep me out of heaven. I mean, if they do something to me, I'm going to go ahead and forgive them. You're forgiven. It's over. Just, just go on. <laughs> I forgive you, but I don't have to put up with you. I can get away from you. <laughs> Bless God. And I have, I have been hurt so deeply by people I have went to church with. That's been my greatest pain, my greatest hurt spiritually. You know, it, it just hurts so deep. This this person, you you've no doubt fed them. Now this is what happened to me. I I give food right out of my own house. I, I give shoes right off my own feet, trying to help somebody. And then they stabbed me in the back. Spoke lies against me that only God knows the truth. And buddy, when people start spreading lies on you, and you know, now, now look at this. When somebody starts spreading a lie on you, well, you know, you being a newcomer, you being somebody just stepped into the picture, and they'll tell you, boy, I wasn't food out of Russell Murphy. Oh, he's the worst devil ever lived. Well, you not knowing me, and you hear what that fella said, you're going to think bad of me too. But you know what? I believe the Bible says, my sheep know my voice. If we're brothers and sisters in the Lord, we ain't going to listen to garbage. We're going to say, hmm, well, I'll kind of give this fella the benefit of the doubt. I'll watch him. And if he's as big a sinner as that guy says, then I'll, I just won't have no dealings with him. You know what I mean? But if you find him to be a man of God, then that's when you need to get behind him and say, you go on, brother. Bless God, I'll back you all the way. And if we both we can get that kind of love and forgiveness and kindness, you talk about a revival. You talk about a breaking out revival. Bless God, we can have a good old Holy Ghost meeting, glory to God. But anyways, it's getting pretty late. Woo, I didn't know it was that late. Well, it's God's time. <laughs> we got started late, and we're, we're working late. <laughs> but uh, anyways, like I said, we, we've driven probably over 250 miles a day. Maybe more, because boy, time you fear, all the way to Cumberland, back to Harlan. Now, we come from Rose Hill, went through Harlan, and and over into Cumberland, and then come back to Harlan, and back down to Pineville, and over to Williamsburg, and back to Corbin, back around the bar, and back, the, back up everybody's, <laughs> up everybody's way. <laughs> we have really oh, just been on the road today. But God loves us. And, and again, I want to say these prayer requests that I mentioned a while ago, my cousin Brenda, and uh, 
uh, Amos, Buster, and and Kayla, and um, help me here, huh? Ray. Brother Ray, and <coughs> I'm about to get choked. <laughs> Randy's sister. Yeah. And Darlene. And Donald. Yes. Yeah, Alan, that. Jamie, Brenda. Barb, mm -hmm. Ann, Sean, mm -hmm. and Diana said to remember her and her two sons. And this may sound crazy, but I'd also like for everybody to be praying for our kitten. Mm -hmm. Something's got a hold of his paw and it's tore it up. Tore it up, he sure has. He might have been fighting a grizzly bear and it got a hold of him. <laughs> That old cat, he, he's a, he's a doozy. He gets out here and runs around, but he, his paws all swollen up and everything. So, but he, I, I prayed for my dogs and stuff before too, and, and the Lord helped them. Sure did. He's got a hole in his paw too. <laughs> but it's some. Um, but anyways, let us pray again, and let's remember all the requests tonight. I know God does. Okay, I know He knows them all. Sister Jamie and we, we love y'all and. Appreciate y'all and Robert, brother Robert. This, brother Robert's got the same initials I do. RGM, Robert Glenn Murphy and Russell Glenn Murphy. Well, we we might be kin there somewhere, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But anyways, we'll we'll have a word of prayer and and brother Randy and Ronald and all of you that uh, tuned in. I know it's getting late. Some of them done signed off because they. Got to get up early and go to work and everything. So, but anyways, we love you. Let us have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you tonight, God, for your love and kindness. Lord, we thank you for the strength in our body. Lord, we thank you for everything that you do, Lord. You've been such a wonderful Savior. And Lord, tonight there's been several turn in requests. But Lord, you know the ones, God, they're in, in so much need. Lord, the pain and the suffering, God, is just more than we can bear sometimes. But, Lord, as we come before you, God, we want to ask you, Lord, as humbly as we know how. Lord, if you would, just reach down your mighty hand, Lord, and touch each and every one of these fine people, Lord, that's given the request and who the request is for. And, and Lord, you know the ones that are, are hurting so bad, the ones with cancer and the ones with diabetes and heart trouble and blood pressure and all that. Lord, you know all the needs out there, Father. And Lord, I'm just asking, Father, that you would just surely touch their body, touch their needs, make a way, Lord, where there seemeth to be none. And Lord, each and every name, God, it's in our prayer box. Lord, we just pray that you would move upon them, Lord, strengthen them, Lord. Make a way where there seemeth to be none, Father. Lord, and we'll surely give you the praise, Lord. I appreciate you tonight, God, for all that you do. And, and Lord, we pray that if there's a lost sinner out there, Lord, that they would turn their life to you. And, Lord, tonight we pray not our will, Lord, but thy will be done. And, Lord, everybody, everybody that's tuned in tonight, God, we want to say bless them, Lord. Just reach down and touch them and, and encourage them and lift them up, Lord, above the storm. And God will surely give you the praise and honor. Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Love the Lord tonight. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, Sister Kathy. God bless you, Sister Kathy. And like I said, everybody's tuned in. And and I want to say a special thanks to my buddy Randy. He he sure helped me, buddy. My vehicle tore up. And, of course, we had to drive all the way to Cumberland to get it to him. But... He done a fine job on helping me get my car fixed and uh, getting it back on the road so we can uh, travel for the Lord. And like I said, we had some food. We had to go get some food from the food pantry, and, and we've been giving it to people already. And and that's, that's what we just try to help all we can. But we've got CDs, and if you like to have, they're $10 each or 3 for 25 And Brenda Thompson, God bless y'all. And uh, if you'd like to have one, just PM us, PM, or private messages, you know, and we'll, we'll get them out to you. 
And, and you know, if we have uh, overlooked getting your CD to you, yeah, just remind us, you know, because sometimes we get so busy we just forget sometimes. But I think we've got them all caught up. Becky but, Prophet's wanting some. Okay, Sister Becky Prophet's wanting some. So we we'll, let us know which ones. Yeah, let us know which ones. Well, she might not even know what we've got, but uh, but anyways, we, we'll we'll let her know. But anyways, we love you and appreciate you tonight for for putting up with us. <laughs> And I've got a very special unspoken prayer request I need God to move in. All right. Everybody remember that. And, you know, I, I respect someone's privacy when they say I got a very special unspoken request. Because, you know, there's times when people spread rumors just because they ain't got nothing better to do. But now when you say it privately to God, you know then when God moves, it has to be God. It ain't something somebody else has drawn up, bless God. But anyways, my friend, we love you and we appreciate you and thank you for tuning us in one more time. Now we'll try again tomorrow night. Just pray, boy, we can come on, Satan. We'll get you again, buddy. <laughs> knock his, knock his I like to knock that devil's teeth out, when you mean? You old dirty devil. <laughs> but the only way you beat the devil is by overcoming it. The only way you can really put the devil under your feet is overcoming what he's tormenting you with. Thank you, Lord. And anyways, my friend, God bless you, and good night, and, and we had a wonderful service, and we want every one of you to be happy and be blessed, and until and tomorrow night, God bless you.